Hello! Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're starting a little late today. I had to go out and vote. <laughs> Government stuff. I don't... <laughs> eh. That's fine, because it gave me an excuse to do something different today. <laughs> uh, so today... We're not playing a full game, we're playing a demo. Um... So I'm, I I mentioned this in my my going live tweet. Uh, a tweet came across my timeline at some point that was like showing off some of the creatures in this game. And one of them was a, a turtle with like a little castle for its shell. And that, I, I thought it was really cute. So I, I like bookmarked that and I was just like, yep, uh, I, I gotta try this out eventually. <laughs> I don't really know anything about the actual gameplay, I just know it has cute monsters in it. <laughs> and, and if you know me, you know that cute monsters are right up my alley. <laughs> Monster catching! I don't know if there's any, any actual catching though. Um, I know there's a game called like, Super Auto Pets or something, but I don't think this game is for- I'm not sure. <laughs> Because, like, on Steam, they're listed under separate developers, so I don't know if the games are actually related or not. I don't know, may maybe, the, maybe the person who's making this game just got inspired by that game or something. <laughs> I, I don't know what their relation is, but I think just from, like, the, the basics I've seen on, like, the Steam page, they, they seem similar, but, like, I've never played either of them, so I don't really know what I'm in for. <laughs> Now, I just thought it'd be interesting, and since we're probably gonna play both to find out. <laughs> I don't know, if, if I like this one enough, I might play... I might play Super Auto Pets, who knows. Yeah, I, I thought it... You know, I, I'm, I'm interested in it, and, you know, we're probably gonna have a bit of a shorter stream today. So, I figured, perf perfect time to try it out. We'll just try it out on stream, easy. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, um, it, it's, the, the demo is available on Steam, I don't know where else it's available, but that's where I got it. Um, so if it looks interesting to you, feel free to go try it out as well. The demo is free, so you know, <laughs> no harm in giving it a try. Uh, have, have I rambled long enough? It's almost five minutes, we can go, we can go into the game. <laughs> Let me switch, switch what monitors I've got things on. Ta-da! Maybe it's only on Steam. <laughs> they also apparently have a Discord. Yeah, I think when I saw it, it wasn't from like the official Super Auto Battlemon account. It was just the account of the artist being like, hey, look at some things I made. Uh, hopefully the audio levels are fine. I've like, I the bars look fine to me. I don't know if things are too quiet or too loud, but you know. I just go by the bars. <laughs> Sounds good to me? Cool. Let's, let's get into it. Let's see what this is all about. Loading question mark. Welcome to the world of Super Auto Battlemon. If you need help, there is some info in the in the menu marked with a question mark down in the bottom right. That is a lot of buttons. There's a lot of things going on here. Select. Okay, do we want Monku? Which looks like fire rock, I guess. They're, they're really just a fair fight. Let the enemy... Toggleable options like this let the enemy gain matching type bonuses. The first boss, the, the boss has the first type bonus of all types, okay. So I guess this effect gain too far. They're not really explaining anything, they're just dropping us in the deep end. <laughs> Belief and crease. <laughs> Oh, it explains the effects underneath. Fast gain, 0.1 speed per stack, remove one stack on attack. On attack, attack again, remove one stack per attack, okay. 
Fact, 10 regen and 3 taunt. Then heal the lowest. That sounds good. <laughs> Oftentimes when I play games like this, my my instinct is either just all attack and no strategy, or completely wall out the opponent <laughs> by just keeping my stuff alive. So B-Leaf might be good for me. Force all opponents to target this unit, okay. They... they... oh jeez, why does... Oh, that attack let's go. Why does Kreeze have so many weaknesses? Oh, I know. That's resi is that resistances or is that weaknesses? No, yeah, that would be... That would be... Up would be... Resistance and down would be... Like, super effective, I think. Because it, make, it makes sense that that grass would be super effective against water, I think. Interesting here that it seems like Kreeze both resists and is weak to fire and electric. Yeah, regen kills one every five seconds. 100 shield to front ally. 20% shield as strength. Strength deal one bonus damage on next attack, remove all on attack, okay. I'm gonna go with Belief. I don't know what it's supposed to be, aside from the fact that it's apparently a bug, but we'll take it. Air, water, fire, air, air, bug. I think we're weak to bug, so we won't go to bug. We should be effective against water, so we'll go we'll go the water path. Hey yo, we got a gnome. I I I know they have have like a help function down here, but like it would have been nice if they'd actually explained stuff. Afterlife on death revive with one health per stack. Knock is an amazing thing. <laughs> What? Why is it just pure normal type instead of being part rock? Or is this just so that it can give us the tutorial? Are we gonna get a tutorial? <laughs> oh, okay, so it's like like an auto battle, I guess. Oh, and the, the two bars are like the different... no? So why does it sometimes attack with grass? Like, what, what determines... Hello, Matt. Welcome, welcome. Baleem... is, I guess... What is... It's not explaining anything. <laughs> Hopefully the full game has a better tutorial, because I don't know what's really going on. And I don't feel like reading the entire help section. It, it, it seems like it's like an auto-battler and your only influence over the battle is like your team selection, potentially. Grant the effect of Fast and Flame Body. One strength to a random ally. And Fast. Gain one speed per stack, okay. Well, we've got Baleem now. Toxic and Dusk, okay. I definitely know what's going on. <laughs> the, the, the creatures are cute, but they could definitely do a better job of explaining... I, I, I understand this is a demo, however. They, they, they could definitely do a better job of explaining what the hell is going on. <laughs> No decay to the highest health enemy. Lowest health ally. Okay. 
Oh, so I guess they just alternate between what type they're attacking with. Things are definitely happening. And I'm not sure what those things are. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're gonna play through this this like map or whatever completely blind and then I might have a look at the help section to see if that explains anything. <laughs> Alright, who do we want? Do we want Mashiki or do we want Skimu? Skimu is another healing one, so I'm gonna grab that just because I'm annoying like that. More toxic and dusk. Okay, we got we got a snowers. <laughs> Ayo, three types. We got triple typed creatures here. Okay, deals decay. Then berry. <laughs> that is definitely a name. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> My chat box is covering up some of it, but it's okay. You're not really missing much. It's just effect descriptions. We got our allies behind two charge and five crippling punch. Bruh, he's at the back. He's not giving anything to anyone behind. All right, let's go. We got rid of the snows. Oh no, our knock. He's gone. Can I? Okay, you can just, you can click on them to like spin the card. Don't know what that does, but sure. <laughs> Snow has inflicted decay on everyone. Grab Barry, I guess. Oh, you can probably like rearrange them. This is Pokemon with Paper Mario graphics. <laughs> uh, it's called Super Auto Battlemon, and it seems like it's like some sort of auto battler or something. And you just like build your team and watch them fight. I, I I don't know. I just like I saw I saw a cute turtle and I'm like, okay, I want to try this out. You see a yellow yellow blur swiftly buzzing about in the distance. On closer inspection, a lone beetling is training in the woods. You spot a beetling hive or a beating hive a short distance away from the beating. Fight the beating, a unit gains physical type, sneak, 25% chance battle one beat em up and three grubbers, unit gains 20 regen permanently. Let's try sneak. Okay, cool. Uh, who do we want regen on permanently? Put on Belim, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's what, what's good and what's not. Water bug, bug water. <laughs> the illusion of choice. Is the turtle here anywhere? Doesn't look like it. I don't even know if the turtle's in the demo. Well, this this one has more options for us to go other places. Oh yeah, so we can click and drag to rearrange. So we'll put Barry in the lead, because Barry will then grant its effect to everyone in the back. Oh, Baleem is like good against everyone here. I think. It's not, it's not 20. Oh, I didn't check these guys. What's that 200? 
arrow things. Who who gives 200 something? Oh, that that's probably this then, maybe? Can be played by dragon. Okay, no, they, these are just items. Who put that 200 thing on? What, what does that mean? <laughs> Look at all these effects here. And I don't know what any of them do, besides, like, regen. Oh, no. No, belief. We did it! Oh, so if there's one that we already have, we can, like, select it in order to grant more EXP. Or level them up or whatever. Since they're all still level 1. And shield to front ally. Oh, I've already got a water type. On hit. I think we're just gonna level up Belief. Fire and Ice, or Grass and Physical. Do we have folks that are good against fire? I don't know. I mean, we, we have you. Okay, um... <laughs> Baleem's doing... B b b b Baleem's putting in work. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with the team as is, I guess. Is he the one doing the 200? I don't know what's inflicting the 200 and whether that's a good thing or not. Oh no! There goes Barry. Oh, we're going up against level 2 dudes. And all of our dudes are still level 1. That's not good. So I guess this is like... Like a roguelike... Uh... Auto battler, or something like that. ta da, -da, -da. Okay, who do we want? Healing, grant ally in front, five fast, five regen and fifteen shield. Okay, we'll grab we'll grab Tadmire. Don't know if we're actually going to use. Oh, we can drag it like that. Let's go for the event, why not? You went back to your hometown for a little for a little recharge. Your grandma has been experimenting with her recipes since you left for your adventure. She prepared a large me a large meal for you to eat, as you were looking a bit skinny according to her. It's enough food for an army, but you could probably finish one dish if you put your mind to it. Choose one battle one to gain peeling's effect. Just one one battle one. Gain flame body, melting. I'll give that to Barry, since he's in the front. You hear a loud noise coming from somewhere nearby. Another 
After following the noise, you come across a clearing full of snorbs playing and fighting with each other. Learn, watch... <laughs> or leave. Let's learn. I'll give it to Barry as well. Alright, fire and lightning, let's go. Oh man! We've got like, evolved things. It's clearly the evolution of... Snows. I think... I think I think our team's good, we, we'll, we'll just go with this. Oh no. Oh. Uh, rip. Okay, we got rid of the Snime Mia. So. Oh, there goes Barry. I, I don't think we got this. this. This is looking not particularly good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely... We're, we're dying. <laughs> oh no. Ouch. Oh! We evolved. Try water physical into Ch Chusian. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like a train? <laughs> oh, these two are uh, leveled up enough to evolve as well. Neato. Then there's just sc scam you. <laughs> Heal lowest health ally for 50. Heal all allies and grant shield. I may switch. Oh, but Skimu is good against like most of that team. So I think we're gonna stick with this. I think this is like the, the crippling punch that Tedum <laughs> is giving, but I don't know why it's giving 200 instead of... instead of, uh, 100. We're, we're looking in slightly better shape this time. Or not. There, there goes our, our main healer. Ooh. Uh. Oh no, we got it. We got it. Oh, I did. I didn't mean to click that. Oops. Well, we got. We got this now. Deal three hundred to the furthest enemy. I may actually use that instead of Skemu and have Kamiatl. Just be our healer. Wait, he inflicts. Hmm. Oh, because Kamiadal's kind of like taunting them into attacking it. Beat him up. Elves stretch. I feel. I feel like we could do something with dude, but we've only got like four team slots, and I feel like we've kind of settled into a strategy. I 
And we're gonna stick with this for now. And just see where it takes us. Okay, so now Kamiyadol's drawing their attacks. Now it's gone back to Tedum. I just noticed Tedum, this is like a a mouth in its stomach or something. Okay, we got rid of their Tedum. Oop, there goes our healer. Oh, we got rid of F F Fatiki. We may be okay here. Would be nice if, if we could... Oh, we can probably take Schemu this time to give Schemu the EXP so we can level up. Yeah, we got this. We're good. We'll take Schemu in order to level it up. We'll do this one. Or air and Grass or Earth and Air. And we'll go air and grass to try and get to the random event. Shribbit Kamiyadol. This just straight up looks like Inteleon. <laughs> Aquana. Oh, that's... That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Zumbus. <laughs> Plus 20 splash. Oh, Tedum isn't good against any of these guys. Hmm. One health per... Sure, let, let's do Dude. Dude is probably... Dude probably evolves into Aquana. We'll switch out just... just... Why is Dude facing the wrong way? <laughs> Bruh? Okay, never mind. Bringing an un unleveled up... Battlemon was probably not the right move, especially putting it in the in the, in the top slot. <laughs> Oops. One. Shrevet's down. Okay. I don't I don't think we're gonna get rid of all of them, but we can at least get rid of enough of them that we're not. Can we at least get rid of two? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have the chops for this kind of strategy. <laughs> Come on, stop healing. <laughs> Get him. Oh, uh, I'm not liking like this. <laughs> yeah, well, we're gone. Okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Grab a dude, so that it can level up. Oh, it's the the beatling boxer. Boxer. Give it to Tedum. Have it start with Regen. All right, where do we want to go? Air and earth, air and water, fire and air. We still haven't seen the turtle, which is making me think the turtle's probably not in the demo. <laughs> which is unfortunate. Knocking. Okay. Oh well, well that that's convenient. You can go to two different rest areas if you go to this one. Let's try Air and Earth, why not? 
Okay, Tedum is still not good for this one. I'm not gonna switch them around like this. <laughs> Banuck. It's a banana duck. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. Right now. <laughs> It's not looking particularly great. Yeah, there, go there goes Chusian. Maybe we do need Tedum after all. <laughs> oh, we got rid of one. Almost two. Oh! Okay, mate. There we go. <laughs> I think at this point, it's probably better to just level up what we currently have. But let's see what these rest areas are. Gain 30 XP and unit gains physical type if possible. Alright, well we're definitely going to use Kamiato and I think we're going to use Aldstritch as well, so we'll do this. Time to face the knocking. Knockwado, <laughs> knockwada, and knockwadi. <laughs> and they're all just like normal type. Which means nothing's strong against them. Ooh. It's 600 damage to the furthest enemy. That That's going to be useful. Do we bring Tedum? Or... Oh wait, the physical thing didn't actually apply. That's lame. Or maybe you only got to choose one. That would make some amount of sense. I don't know how fond I am of my chances right now. Lowest for 100, so I think I think Eldritch, uh, Eldstritch stays on. Well, Kamiyadal has more speed. I think I'm gonna take Carmiel off and put Tedum in. Let's see how this goes. I like how the attacks are just are literally just the type icons. <laughs> Tedum, Tedum's taken a beating, but if he can survive until like Eldstritch is ready, we can heal him. We got rid of one. We got rid of Noquado. <laughs> and Aquan is doing work on knocking. Oh, but it looks like we're going. Oh, we 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 healed Tedum, but not for enough. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got rid of Noquada. How is Tedum still alive? N never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I do not know, but then 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 he died, so he he wasn't alive anymore. <laughs> uh, there goes Chusian. Chusian. Uh, yeah, we're 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 definitely gone. Ouch. <laughs> Is 
Ba-dang. Cool. That was definitely a thing. I definitely knew what was going on that entire time. But let, let me, um... Look at the help. See if this explains anything to me. <laughs> Oh, so rarer Battlemon have better stat averages. Hover over release for more information, okay. There is clearly a lot of strategy that goes into this game, and I'm probably not smart enough for it. <laughs> That's the thing, I love the idea of card games, I'm not very good at them. <laughs> Green damage represents... Types that will deal two times damage to. Multiples types weak skin. <laughs> okay, yeah, that that's that's grammar. <laughs> multiple multiple types weak against the Battlemon will vastly increase the damage. Red arrow represents it will deal extra damage towards this Battlemon, okay. So there's no not very effective and super effective, it's just what's effective against other things and what's effective against this thing. It's filled up, they all attack. So much reading. I just want to get a better idea of what the how this all plays. Cause like we 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 got to the final, like the boss of that run, but like I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> So I, I just want to read through these just so I, I know what's going on. It would have been better if they'd, you know, interspersed these as you're playing rather than hiding it off in the help section. But I guess this is a demo. Cycle between their types for attacks. We'll target an enemy in front unless something changes it. Having two or more of the same type. Oh. Okay. And here I was trying to get a variety. I guess you actually want to have more synergy. The boss deals all of the player's health if not defeated, yeah. Plan correctly to build the strongest team. No, no planning here. I, I, I just run, run right ahead. Positioning battle mons. Some effects buff only the battle mon at the front. Others buff either side of the battle mon. Usually best to put the battle mon with the most health or armor in the front. Having the battle mon with the strongest effect at the front is better, as it gains energy quicker from tank damage. Okay. Uh, which one was this? Positioning. Items. I didn't use items at all last time. I should probably I should probably do that. Some battle mons look different. The star symbol will help indicate if it's a misprint. Pink is a rare misprint. Blue is an epic misprint. The one, the one I saw on Twitter, the total, was like a misprint, where I I think the original is supposed to be like a total with a sand castle on its back, while the one I saw, it was like a mud castle instead, or something like that. Winning with a misprint in the active party will unlock it to reskin future games, okay. 
pages increase the difficulty of the game. Unlock new pages by winning the previous page. Okay. <laughs> and then you can also change the game speed. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. We're on page zero. <laughs> Uh, Bee Leaf was good for us last time, so we'll, we'll grab Bee Leaf again. Alright, no more raiding, we're good. Ah, uh, so if you release a Battlemon, your other allies will get extra EXP. Good to know, we, we don't just need to have Nox sitting in the... in the back. And dust. I want to get Barry again. Barry was... Okay, no Barry, but we can get Steamu. Agent Shield. I guess I'll put Belief at them. I don't... I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, is that why? Well, we... Oh, that's what it was. Because we had both Barry and Steamu in the party, it was, it was giving us the afterlife effect. Grant all allies 200 explode. On death deal one damage per stack, split evenly on all enemies. Okay. So right now, because we've got two grass in the party, everyone starts with 15 regen. So that's pretty cool. Gimme scheme you. Only one way to go. Lucky boot. Grant allies five fast. <laughs> we played during combat by dragging it or by clicking. Okay. Why why bother making drag an option if you can just click? <laughs> So we don't just need to sit and do nothing, we can actually put items on just some text. <laughs> this text is just here to remind people of the game's current state. You know, realistically, I'm pretty sure that... From what I remember, this is really a misnomer. Like, to my understanding, alpha versions aren't, like, released to the public. They're, they're for internal testing. And then when the public is able to get their hands on it, it's supposed to be the beta. But I guess... <laughs> I guess they're calling it an alpha anyway. Ten decay... Twenty-five decay to the highest health. And they're all common. I think I'm gonna grab Snows. Feels like it has synergy with our current party. Oh, they got us. Alright, off you go, knock. Okay, so who do we want in the front? I guess Snow is. To, like, keep inflicting that decay on everyone. And then we have higher regen because we've now got three grass. And we now inflict decay on everyone because we've got two, uh, two, uh, toxic. So we'll go with this. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that decay. It's probably... It makes one damage every 1.5 seconds, so... Well, 0 0.5, so it's probably... more effective in the early game than it is later on. Oh, jeez. We're dying. 
That's not good. Wait. He has one health. But it's clearly healing more. Oh, per stack. Okay, so I, I guess... I guess it is can still be good. Hey, we survived! Alright, who do we want to start with regen? Snows is probably if we if we're having snows at the front, snows is gonna be good with regen. I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to understand. Ice dusk. Oh god, we're already coming up against level two? Level two dudes? Dude, Gary's battle axe. Who's Gary? I used the explodo, but I don't think it really helped. <laughs> Let's use both both our explodos. That is not that that did not help at all. They're too strong. <laughs> We're getting stomped. Oh, Whisper is strong against like all of us. Oh, this is not good at all. Oh, come on. <laughs> we knocked out Barry, but he he's hung on just long enough to count. Butts. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Schemu because we, like, we're coming up against level 2 critters. We need to, we need to level ours up. Jesus. They got, like, two level 2 critters per thing. Oh, they are so strong against us. We're, we're, we're alright, alrightly strong against them, but... Let's grant everyone fast. Ooh. I don't like our chances right now. <laughs> we're, go we're gonna die before we even get to the boss. <laughs> and here I thought I was finally figuring this out. <laughs> Like, yeah, we got it now. No, we don't. No, we don't. We're dying so fast. Can we at least get rid of the, the, the worment? So we only take 20 damage? I don't like our chances right now. <laughs> I will say, I don't think, I don't think this is going to be a game that I end up streaming at all after this demo, but I could see myself playing this in, in my off time, just as a random, like, side thing while I'm doing something else. Now, now that I've, now that I'm sort of understanding better how it actually works. So it might be something for me to keep an eye on. Seems like a good passive type game, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up snows. Cause we we need those level ups right now. And we need to come across a team that doesn't completely counter us. Oh god, that's that's three level twos. Jesus Christ. We are not keeping up. Okay, so El El Eldritch is good against all of them, but uh, the rest of the team, not so much. I believe, are you sure you're believing in the right side right now? Oh, we, we can get rid of one of them. There goes the Zumbas. <laughs> Oh, 
But there goes our Snymere. And Tadmire's already almost dead. Jesus. Okay, so, we, we got rid of two of them. So we're only, at, at most, we're gonna take 20 damage. However, that decay, that decay might help save us. There we go. We did it, we survived. Now, do we grab another team member? Or do we... Jeez, they're so far behind. Barry was good last time, so we're gonna grab Barry. Just in case, like, there's... Because then we can get, like, the, the dusk. We can get the afterlife effect. Oh god, Aquana? Oh, Zuma's like hard counters us. It's all ours, five region. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Barry up here. We're gonna switch Tadmire out, which does mean that we get less regen at the start, but it also allows us to get uh, the afterlife effect. We must not forget about... You know what, let's just, let's just pop the... Yeah, get rid of that Arquana right, right, right quick smart. Oh, <laughs> uh, Barry, Barry's gonna die so fast. Ah, but we got the afterlife. Do I want to give Barry the bomb? I don't think I do. I think we can... Oh, we're, we're looking a bit low, though. Uh, can we get rid of Skeleton Stretch is the question right now. I think we can. It's three against one, even though it is healing. Let's go! Do we want to bring Doot? Dude was dude was particularly good against the boss. I think I might grab dude and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll drop Tadmire for EXP. Physical toxic or toxic physical, the illusion of choice. They have the exact same things, they're just rearranged. Oh boy, is that... That's a level th We're coming up against level threes? Bruh. Bruh, what, what, what do you think? I'm not, I'm not... I'm not strong enough for this yet. Bruh. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Problem is, I, f I, like, I feel like Doot would be good because then we can get rid of the healer. But like... Who do I then take out? Because I'd have to take out our healer instead. Everyone else is like good. Unless. Okay. I'm gonna go with this. See how that goes. And then we'll drop the lucky boot immediately to the ground fast. So that we can try and build up his energy real quick and get rid of that healer. Oh, shit. They just demolished us. Okay. 
Hmm. Level up Skeleton Stretch. But why are we going up against level 3s? We didn't... We didn't run into these last time, did we? Bruh! Alright, just kill us. Go ahead. Oh, because I took Barry out, I don't have Afterlife anymore. Yeah, Dude doesn't have synergy with the rest of our team. Even though Dude has a really good ability. Well, there goes the run. <laughs> That was the thing. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do a couple more times. We've been going for about an hour. I... Should we go for like a more... Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go with a more defensive one this time. More defensive. St oh, we've got three. Got it. We're going. We're going with with Kreeze this time. Ice physical, earth, air. I didn't check what Kreeze is good against, or is it crows? I don't remember now. <laughs> I think it's good against grass. And this gives us an opportunity to get some of the. Yeah, it's Kreeze. Healing. Oh, he's not good against grass. He's good against fire and water. I thought since he's ice, he'd be good against grass, but no. Alright, this is our first time recruiting peeling. Water, fire, dusk, earth. I kind of want to go get the rest area. So we'll go this way, I guess. We can get Baleem again. Which I'm now realizing is like Bailey and, and Steam. With Bailey, and, of course, being like a, uh, a whale's... Their, their version of teeth, essentially. Grab, we'll grab Baleen. Switch them all around. Because I feel like Baleen's going to be a good... A good lead for us. Popeyes, that's a new one. Baleen ain't doing so well. Oh no. It's alright, we're still gonna win this. And Snows was good, but it doesn't really have synergy with our current team. What does water give us? Splash. And what does ice? On hit gain fast. Hmm. So do we want Popeyes or Zipstra? Grants all allies 50 shield. Grants more splash. Oh, and this would also give us wind. Chance for multi-strike. We'll grab Zips Zipstrap. Ooh. Try this. So now Baleem is also ice type, which means we get even more ice synergy. 
uh, which means we get the ice synergy in general, which we missed out on because we went we went with uh, Zipstrat instead of Pop Ice. Give everyone some EXP. We're getting rid of our Gnock. Grant ally in front and behind, so we don't want him at the back. Peeling can go at the back and make the zip strat faster. Craze can go there, yeah. And Baleem at the front. Everyone gets their synergy effects. I should look at these. Grants thorns. Grants energy. Grand Splash. Yo! No one died except Baleem got very close. I think we're gonna grab Pop Ice just as a backup. And Mike, we can swap it out with Peeling if need be. Oh god, we're already coming up against level 2s. I don't remember it getting this difficult this quickly on the first time. Maybe that was just like, okay, training wheels are off now. Good luck. <laughs> Gonna give Rusty scissors. To damage them while they damage us. Oh god, what happened to Peeling? Oh right, Aquana. Aquana happened. Level up Balin. We need we need our front our front person to be strong. Okay, we don't need physical type, we, that's not what we've been doing, but regen would be nice. Never mind, we're, we're fighting. <laughs> Nobody's good against these guys, except for Chusian. I think we should be fine, they've only got one level up. Oh. This grubber is a level 2 for some reason, even though it's still a grubber. Oh god. Okay, I, I clearly underestimated these guys. Oops. I still get the Rage on. I think Chusian's the best choice for that since Chusian's our, our lead. Ah, thank you for the redeems, Fiat. So we can give a unit grass or ice, or give EXP. I think we're gonna go this one. Okay, grass. So we're gonna give it to Kreeze, and that'll give us regen. All about synergy. Lightning Earth, are we... Oh, where? <laughs> we're gonna dominate. We're gonna dominate. Although, they... They have a lot of level 2s. We've only got one. I'm gonna drop a battery pack. But look at all that synergy. Alright. Oh, there goes one. Oh, but... We've gotten them pretty low as well. Just the Electrax now. Can we kill it before it kills us? I don't think we can. <laughs> Dang it. Got so close. 
Zip, zip strap for the EXP. We grabbed pop ice. We're not really using it. I think I think we're pretty good here. Pop ice would be effective against all of them, but like I think we have enough here that we should be okay. I, th I think I'll grab the the rusty scissors at the start of the battle. Gotta use the items. Don't let them go to waste. So I don't like. I don't particularly like the fact that we're down to 50 already. But it's okay. It's okay. We can. Uh, we can come back from. Ah, uh, this doesn't look good. This is very not good. Unless we can somehow come back from this. Potentially. Okay, maybe we can come back from this. Ayo, peeling. Peeling. Come on. Uh, oh, come on. It was so close. Let's go! <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go, banana duck. <laughs> Freeze for the EXP. So now we have three that are level two. Ooh, and there's... Yeah. There's a duck here, so we might be able to level up peeling as well. Oh, our team is so effective against them, but their team is so effective against us. <laughs> I'm gonna use a battery pack. Use the thorns as well. Rusty, rusty, rusty scissors. I'm scared of that Aquana. It's like, it can just. Oh, look. <laughs> Peeling's already almost dead because of that Aquana. Alright. Peeling's leveled up. Let's go. Oh, we're coming up to level threes. Look at that. They're, they're like in the in the, the the seventies and whatnot. Oh, I've only got one rare. I haven't recruited any of them. Rare dudes. <laughs> I just picked a strategy and stuck with it. That's what that's what I tend to do in these games. I don't like vary things up as we go. I'm just like, okay, this is my strategy now. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the thorns. And I wanna say the battery pack as well. Just try and get through them. <laughs> oh, we've already lost. We've already lost Chusian. Okay, we took we took down Histamine. <laughs> That is a fantastic name, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we are so dead. Uh, here's the thing, this one doesn't really have synergy with us, but it's also an epic. Gain one multi-strike, 20 flame body, then deal 10% health as damage. Good lord. We'll grab him anyway. Okay, rest area, definitely. XP to Chusian. I, I don't like our chances right now. Jesus, Octo Stretch? Okay, our, our team is very good against them. I don't think we're gonna bring in Scrap Doll. 
Their team is also very good against us, though. Immediately drop this. Get that decay off on the Marley. I don't think we got this. I think we're gonna lose. Oh, I should have just scrapped these for EXP. I don't think it would have given us a level up, but, you know, it might have helped. Helped us not die. That decay really helped us, though. You know what? Use this as well. Is the frostbite actually working? It doesn't seem to be going down. <laughs> Okay, we got, we got one down, and because of the frostbite, let's go, we're safe. Just gonna grab the rare one, and then we'll just scrap them for EXP. Okay, we're getting rid of these. See if we can get it up to level 3. No. Still not enough. How are you meant to get a level 3, dude? Alright, I think, I think our team is good as it is. We'll just drop out items once we start. And now we just wait and see. If we survive. I, I, I don't know if we will. Right now, Chusian isn't looking so hot. And we don't have a heckin' Newt to demolish the king while we're still dealing with the front lines. Well, we might, though. We might, though. Okay, Chusian's got Afterlife on. Okay, Chusian's gone. Now it's up to bl bl Blizzation. Oh, we might have this. I, d I don't want to call it before it happens, but... That was a lot of back and forth. Okay, no. No. Dang it. Dang it. We got close. We got close. Oh, man. <laughs> I can see how this could become very addictive. I got so close. <laughs> I think maybe one more run and then we'll call it. It's a, it's a bit of a shorter stream than normal, but I, was, I wasn't expecting this to be a particularly long one anyway. So I'm assuming Super Auto Pets is probably something similar to this. We haven't done, we haven't done a run with Monku yet, so let, let's do that. None of these are good for us. Oh jeez, Monku is good against a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, it is weak to water, so we, it's a good thing we didn't go to one of those. Yeah, we'll probably do one more run and then we'll we'll call it. Because I do, I do have other things I need to do. I need to draw this week's comic strip. And I need to... I need to work on that cover that I've been wanting to do this entire month, and I just haven't had time. Uh, yeah. No one's got anything that... What is this? Pocket Sapling. Ooh, Grand Seven One Regen.
So what I don't get is how are they, how are we expecting to get to level three with our, our dudes? Because this doesn't seem like a... What is... Grant's Crippling Punch, and then fire Grant's... On attack, Grant's Strength to a random ally. We'll grab Baleen. Neither of those types are particularly good for us, so let's learn. Switch around. Because Baleem grants it to enemies behind. Just leaving Nock in the lead because, like, Nock does nothing. <laughs> We're doing pretty all right so far. However, it's the early stages. It's not until they start introducing level twos that, oh geez, all right, cause dude. They're all common. We'll grab snows and use that to replace no. Who do I want in the lead? I think I want yeah, we want Monku up the front. Main reason I'm grabbing snow is to up our fire, but we also get toxic from that as well. Which means we're inflicting decay. Very nice. Do I want fast on you or on we'll, we'll put the fast on snows. And then knock We we sacrifice for EXP. <laughs> We got one down already. You can see the strength is just going up whenever someone attacks. So maybe fire is good, a good one for me. Just using it like throwing. <laughs> Throwing the strength around brute force strategy. <laughs> Ooh, bug. Fire should be good here. Yeah, look at that. Mushki's the only one that's not dominating. However, they're also very good against us. <laughs> oh, and they're already level two. Gotta put the rusty scissors on. have about the same speed. Does energy go up with time or is it only when you're hit? Or is it both? It's probably both, I think. Oh, there goes Baleen. Yeah, we're, we're already starting to struggle. Oh no. Oh! Chimpire leveled up. Oh! We've got two level twos already. And if we grab one of these, we can get level three. Another level two. Three level twos, I mean. We'll do rest area. Against dark. Dark doesn't help us. So we'll just try and level up Baleem. There we go. Now we've got now we've got a team of all level twos. Things are looking a bit better now. Grass, ice. Grass helps helps us, it can give us regen, but ice does not at all, so I'm just going to go for EXP. Well, 
I'm going with Chimpile. Alright, do we want to go for that rest area or do we want to go for the random events? Does fire, does lightning. Let's try this one. <laughs> Core glue? <laughs> Cute. Uh, just for safety, I'm gonna put some scissors on. Take him down. <laughs> We're doing good now. We're doing good now. <laughs> After somehow getting everyone to level 2. I don't know how we did it. Maybe because we focused on leveling up folks instead of... Yeah, I'll grab Barry. But we're probably just gonna sack him for EXP. Realistically speaking. Yeah, I think we don't really need him. He doesn't really synergize with anything we've got going. Besides the fighting, which we could we could get crippling punch, but that like weakens our other synergies. And like I like I very much like the the strength synergy we got going on here with fire. Honestly, if I could get Flitki and uh, uh, Fitiki fire type as well, that'd be fantastic. But look at this. We're actually we're, we're putting in work now. I don't like that. That's a lot of decay, though. Oh. This, this dude just just smoked us. Completely. I'm gonna give Snows the XP. Then we'll go for the rest area. What can we get? Toxic type. Perfect. We can get even more decay. Uh, who do we want to give it to? One of, obviously one of these two, however... Okay, so ne neither of these types we have a synergy with right now. Getting synergy with Earth would be nice, so we'll give it to uh, Chimpile. I'm understanding now. <laughs> oh, they are all super effective against us. And I'm also gonna give afterlife. Uh, we were going, we were doing so well. And now, <laughs> Is that okay. No, they're all still level two. Oh no, they have a level one as well. But he's he's dangerous. He inflicts a lot of decay. Maybe I should be using more items. I already used two, but like... Okay, we, we at least narrowed it down so there's only one left. Oh! We did it! Let's go! Level up for Chimpire. Alright, random event. What do we got? Ah, okay. Flame body, peeling's effect, or melting. On attack grants one strength per stack to a random ally. But he's got fast and multi strike. I think I want to do this and give it to Chimpire. Grass Toxic. Oh, this should be good for our fire team. But they're also particularly good against us. I think we're going to use Regen and Frostbite at the start. 
And then I guess save the rest for the boss. Oh jeez, these dudes really loading on the region. Oh, but look at that. The frostbite really does a lot. Look at all this strength being passed around. None of these help us. We'll grab the rare, I think... I don't know if the rarity actually... Fire type, let's go, okay. You, EXP. We'll finish our fire synergy. Look at how much strength we're gonna get. Full fire synergy. We're coming for you, knocking. And then we might as well just use up all our items. Like, it's the final stage. No reason not to. Because I don't think I did that in the past runs. That's probably what well, this is. Why didn't I? <laughs> So, so maybe, maybe all this time, all I needed was just to go for fire. Go for the full-on strength, strength strats. Look at how much we got. Oh, actually. We are in a little bit of danger here. Yeah, everyone's dead. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> the king is still too powerful. That's all right. That's all right. That was fun. That was fun. So I don't really see that being a stream game in the future when like the full thing comes out, but it does seem like a fun little thing to just play in like my free time, potentially. So it's a bit of a shorter stream today, but that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, my next stream, I don't know exactly when it's going to be because I may still stream tomorrow, but that depends on how much I get done for my cover. So tomorrow's stream may be canceled or it may just be like delayed and I'll stream in the afternoon instead of the morning. I don't know yet. Well, we'll see how much I get done tonight. <laughs> and this afternoon. Um, and we're probably not gonna raid. I uh, <laughs> There's only me and Theo here, so I figure we'll, we'll probably just end it. But anyway, nice, nice fun little stream. It's the <laughs> break out of the regular routine a bit. You know, <laughs> sometimes that's good. Good to do something a little different. But anyway, That's going to be all for today. Thanks for watching. Otsukame. Bye bye.